Matthew chapter 14 and we're going to read from verse 25. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out unto them walking on the sea. So at this point, Jesus was the disciple, was the disciples the previous day and the disciples had to set out and they were there in the water and there was a storm. But the Bible says that Jesus set out walking on water coming towards them. And some of them shouted, and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. So they were afraid because they have not seen in the history of humanity a man walking on water. In the days of Elijah, Elijah divided the water. So he didn't walk on it, he divided it. In the days of Moses, Moses divided it by the power of God. So they didn't walk on water, they divided it. But Jesus came and took the revelation to another level. He said, if I divide the water, I must have done what Moses did. If I divide the water, I will do what Elijah did. Now, I'm going to walk on it. Irrespective of the molecular density of water, I'm going to walk on it. And he stepped on and began to walk on it. And as he was walking on it, coming to the disciples, they said, it's a ghost. Why? no man in the history of humanity has been able to walk on water but Jesus introduced that dimension of God and when he stepped in and came close they saw and as they were crying but straight away Jesus spoke unto them saying be of good cheer I speak to you this morning be of good cheer in the name of Jesus he said it is I be not afraid and something happened. And Simon Peter answered, radical man, and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me, tell me to come. Jesus did not say, Peter, you are very ambitious. I know every time you just want to stay there, my friend. And Jesus said in verse 29, Jesus, and Jesus said, and he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water. To go to Jesus. So Peter was not in the boat confessing I will walk on water. Peter was not in the boat believing I will walk on water. Peter only acted on the word of Jesus come and when he acted on it he started walking on water. That tells you you don't walk on the water inside the boat. You walk on the water outside the boat. So when the master says come you have to come. So the challenge with some of us is that God has given instruction but you are still standing on that instruction. You are still deliberating on the instruction. You are in between decisions. If I should obey the voice of God. It was recorded that Peter walked on water because of one thing. He acted on the word of Jesus. So what is missing in the cycle of faith in your life is action. What is missing in the cycle of faith in your life is action. Because it is at the point of action that the power of God is triggered to give you a supernatural experience. The supernatural experience of walking on water only happened when Peter acted on the word of Jesus. And he said, come. And Peter came, irrespective of the water and the storm that was on it. Somebody will tell me, but yes, he walked on water, but he got to a level. Forget the level he got to. The first thing is that he walked on water. Amen? Forget the level he got to. The first thing is what? He walked on water. And if you are going to walk on water, you have to obey the instructions of God. If you are going to walk on the waters of life, because somebody might not be walking literally on water, but he might be doing business supernaturally. He might be doing business in another dimension. He might be unlocking new dimensions and new realms 
uh, 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 in that particular thing that you do. But for it to happen, you must go beyond believing. You must go beyond confession. You have to bring action on board. Act your faith. Don't just confess your faith. Act your faith on God. Praise the Lord. So many Christians have delayed the manifestation of miracles, signs, and wonders because they delay action. Have you not noticed the Bible said, this sign shall follow? Eh? The signs will follow when you act, not when you sit. These signs shall follow. What it means, signs follow somebody moving, not somebody sitting. So you can't sit and sign will follow you. You won't fold your hands and signs will follow you. Signs will only follow when you have started taking walk in the direction that God instructed you to move. Praise the Lord. So rise up now and write that proposal and submit it on Tuesday. Rise up now and go again for that interview. Rise up now and go again for that contract. Rise up now and begin to do the things that you know you should do. For somebody, you have delayed it long enough. It is time to do that online registration for that particular course. Rise up and go and meet the individuals that God said you should meet. Rise up and go back to that office according to divine instruction. Why? The power of God is waiting for you on the other side of obedience. On the other side of action to give you a supernatural experience. That is where the power of God is waiting for you. On the other side of action. Praise the Lord. Success, greatness becomes when you act your faith and obey divine instructions. Success, greatness becomes when you act your faith or obey divine instructions. Don't just sit there. Act on your feet. You believe God that there will be a change. Then act like you believe. And act in line with your confession. So believing is not enough. You must bring action behind that which you believe. Confession is not enough. Greatness Success happens when you act your faith. When you obey the instructions given to you by God. Praise the Lord.